Hey guys, California Phantom, let's talk Parrot Anaphy. So the French-owned company Parrot. I don't know, Lloyd, the French are assholes. I mean, that may be true, but that's completely irrelevant to what we're talking about. And I already told you, my name's Mark. We've been friends for like five years, so figure it out. So Anaphy represents the culmination of a project and build that's clearly been secret coming out of Parrot, came out of left field. And I have to say, between the announcement of the Autel Evo dropping on the 25th and July 1st being the release date of the Anaphy, DJI's headquarters, I'm sure, is slamming right now. They're, they're running around, they're in panic mode. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. So I would imagine there's gonna be an announcement pretty soon involving the Mavic Pro 2. We're just gonna to have to keep our eyes open for that. So what's key about Anafi is it's a culmination of something that I think is being a little bit disconnected in the drone industry, and that is a company taking the time to listen to its customers. So Parrot released the Bebop, and it wasn't exactly well received. Just what I think, you couldn't possibly be any dumber. You go and do something like this. And totally <laughs> man, I know they redeemed themselves, but man, I've told you to shut up. I'm trying to make a video here. So what the NFE represents is Parrot's willingness to listen to its customers, which I have to say is lacking in the drone space. We have companies like DJI, who's constantly pushing the envelope and far, as far as design implementation. They're always making the best stuff, but I don't necessarily see them connected to its customers, listening to what we want as a consumer to see in a drone. Autel is another company that's producing something that's based on an iteration of a DJI product. They've refined some things, they've improved some things. I'm very excited to see what they have to offer. But really, Parrot came forward in a very early state with the Parrot Bebop. And everyone enjoyed it to a certain extent, but it had some, let's just say, issues. Okay, let's turn around and show them what we've uh, accomplished. Um, it's uh, it's just my hands on now. Oh, and then let's take these off. I can't see it all without <laughs> those. How it looked, Danny? You had some serious range issues with the Wi-Fi. You had no gimbal, you had a digital stabilization, and for any of you videographers automatically know, whenever you're digitally stabilizing a, a product or a video, um, the more you zoom in, the more you stabilize it, if it's jostling around, you're gonna lose quality, you're gonna have degradation quality, and that's just the reality of it. So what do they do? They completely go back to the drawing board, they redesign a drone, not unlike anything we've ever seen before. Most design problems we see in the drone space today come down to prop wash being inside of the video. So you're taking footage, you're taking video, maybe a little bit of windy day, you may be moving at a rapid pace, you're getting those props inside of your footage. So what does Parrot do? They take the camera, which is shaped and very similar to an Inspire One camera, and they plop it on the very front of the drone. Now, with that design implementation, not only does the drone have that full range all the way down and level without any props, but then you can actually take the image and point it directly up, which is, has limitless potential. If you're doing bridge inspections or you're taking video that requires your drone to point the camera directly up, you know, you have multiple two, three thousand dollar units from DJI that, that like the Matrice that also does that, but you, you gotta spend the three thousand dollars to get that. With the price point of six ninety nine, which undersells the Mavic Air, you have a product that now can do that to can perform that feat. So next is the flight time. The, the Bebop did not have a terrific flight range or a flight time. They didn't really necessarily need it because the distance didn't really didn't allow for it. But automatically they give us a 25 minute flight time, which is amazing. It's further than the Mavic Air, which I think is the closest drone that it pairs with. 
and it is right along with the Phantom 4 Professional, which I think is amazing. So next thing is, is it's a little bit more subtle, but we're dealing with noise. Now, a lot of the problems we have with these drones, with the motors and the revolutions and the plastics and materials that they use, drones are fairly loud. So when you have a drone inside of 150 feet or so, it's going to draw a lot of attention to itself. The Parrot Anafi came forward with very, very small props. They're wider to diffuse the air in a more effective manner, to keep the drone afloat using a minimal amount of revolutions. And as a result, it translates to a very quiet flight. Another common complaint was to Parrot, why don't you implement a gimbal? They didn't use the gimbal on the Parrot Bpop. The digital stabilization did not compare to DJI's gimbal platform and other companies gimbal platform with the X-Star and from Autel. So I appreciate a company that listens to its customers, they implemented the gimbal, they implemented lossless zoom which we ne necessarily have even asked for but would love in a product, they implement that lossless zoom, they put forward a 21 megapixel stills which is going to be great for the photographers, they have the 4K video and you have, and you have a camera with zero obstructions in it, you have a full range, you can look straight up, you can look straight down, it's exactly what we want in a drone. I, I, I like that they use the design similar to an Xbox controller, I'm sure Microsoft used millions of dollars to find what's most ergonomic in your hands. I love the ergonomic feel and the look and shape to the Anafis controller. I love the integrated antennas, you're not having to point it in a certain direction. You flip them out, as soon as you flip out the antennas, the controller automatically powers on it's it, it, the the less steps you do the quicker you get your drone up in the air and I think Parrot has done a fantastic job at writing the list of complaints most common complaints from its customers and they completely answered every one of those questions and more so I'm very excited to be able to to review and to purchase and bring that uh, Parrot Anafi to you guys I definitely recommend that at this point head-to-head -head between the Autel Evo and the Anafi I have to give it to Parrot on paper Parrot's drone looks a lot better than than the Autel drone at this point. We have not seen what DJI is going to bring to market, so there is a very big question mark there. Get yourself a pre-order for the Parrot Anafi. It's coming out July 1st. And uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure.